In this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways that you can instantly start sounding more like a native Spanish speaker and impress those people that you're trying to speak Spanish with. I'm serious when I tell you that if you apply these three methods to your Spanish, you'll see instant progress. These are the same things that I apply to my Spanish and now people mistake me for a native speaker when I speak in Spanish. Obviously, there's a bit more to sounding like a native speaker than just these three tips, but you'll notice major progress is if you apply this to your Spanish pronunciation. The first thing is that you have to stop pronouncing vowels like you do in English. The vowels A-E-I-O-U are not pronounced like A-E-I-O-U. In Spanish, it's A, E, I, O, U. For example, the letter E is not E or A, it's E. The letter A is A. It's not A or A. To say apple, it's not manzana or manzana, it's Manzana. If you have to fake a Spanish accent to sound better, do it. Fake it till you make it. The second sound that you need to change in order to sound more like a native Spanish speaker is the letter D. How you say the D sound. This is something I didn't realize for a long time when I was speaking Spanish. The letter D has a much softer sound than it does in English. Think of where your tongue is when you say the word dog. It's behind your teeth towards the top of your mouth. Dog and it's a pretty soft sound. This is how you're gonna pronounce the letter D in Spanish if the word starts with D. If the letter D is in the middle of a Spanish word, then it's gonna be even softer, like in the word this. Think of where your tongue is when you say TH in the word this, that's where you want your tongue if the letter D is at the end of a word or in the middle of a word. For example, dedo, is how you would say finger. It's not dedo. So the first D is obviously pretty soft, and then the second D is even softer. You barely can even make it out. Dedo. If I say I give, it's not doy, okay? People are instantly gonna recognize you're an English speaker. It's doy. Before I get to the third tip, I want to see if you're a serious Spanish learner. If you are and you want to become fluent in Spanish without wasting years and years of studying, meaning you want to be having conversations within just a matter of months, the good news is I have a free masterclass to show you exactly how I was able to do it, the method I used, what I did and did not focus on, and the best resources that I used to learn and practice Spanish every single day. Again, this is a free masterclass. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can go check that out. The third Thing you need to do is that you've got to stop pronouncing your R's like a gringo. If it's a double R in Spanish, it means you're going to roll your R's like this. I can't personally roll my R's, so I'll make a video in the future showing you how I still can get away with this sound and produce it. If it's a single R at the beginning of a word, you're also going to roll your R's. Now, if the R is a single R and it's in the middle of a word, then you're gonna make a single R sound without rolling it. And the R sound in Spanish sounds a lot like the double T in the word little. So pay attention to where your tongue is in your mouth when you say that double T with the word little in English. It's at the roof of your mouth, behind your teeth, and it's just the tip of your tongue. Let's do an example. If I say cardo, notice how I have to roll my R's because it's a double R. If I say realmente, I'm also rolling that R because the word starts with the letter R. But if it's the word caro, which is just expensive, I don't roll my R's because that R is a single R and it's in the middle of a word. I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Comment below what kind of help you need with Spanish so I can make some videos on it. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Ciao.